Hi guys, my name's Tori. For those of you who don't know me, this is my Wizard of Oz collection vlog. Roll the intro! believe it's 2022 happy 2022 everybody i hope you all had a wonderful holiday season and new year omicron is raging and we're kind of back on lockdown ish type stuff they haven't closed the schools yet my office is closed again and we did reveal to the kids that we surprised them with a disney trip for christmas roll that clip before you open, you guys, this is mostly from grandma and grandpa. Yeah. It's from all the grown-ups, but mostly grandma and grandpa. Okay, go ahead. So big thank you. Look, it's another. <laughs> it's a box in a box. It's a box. Okay, guys, okay. read that out loud. What? Let Bobby read it. Yeah, Bobby, could you read? Both of Bobby and TJ are going to Disneyland. <gasps> yep, yeah, we're leaving in two weeks. <laughs> Rosa, tell me, are you excited? I'm excited. We're going to Disney World. We're going to Disney World. But now it's entirely dependent on whether or not we get COVID between now and then. So I guess we'll see. But anyway, on to Oz. So what's new? Well, it has been a really exciting holiday season, especially for Oz merch. If you have been paying attention, you know that the Dolls Kill clothing collection dropped. Roll that clip. Dolls Kill, as it turns out, is a very problematic clothing company. So if you can, buy these things secondhand. But the clothing is really cool. I can't deny that. One of the loveliest parts of Christmas in Oz was seeing my friends, especially my dear friend Ryan Jay, and he was kind enough to bring me some Christmas presents, which I'm going to highlight now, and thank you again so much, Ryan, for just being an amazing friend and colleague. You are always so delightful. He brought me this lovely Madame Alexander music box with Dorothy here and her friends down at the bottom, which is really, really special. He also brought me this exclusive The Wiz Live t-shirt that he received when he went to the press junket. He was one of the only local affiliates to be able to do so. And he brought me this beautiful t-shirt that they gave him as a gift with the date there that it premiered which was so generous of him. It's such a cool exclusive and not many people got these, so I'm so grateful to have one. There's not, I don't have a ton of Wiz merch, so I'm really, really grateful that I have this piece. He also gave me these beautiful locally made finger puppets with these little googly eyes, I love them. Ryan also snagged me this gorgeous Wizard of Oz wallet purse from Dolls Kill. It says there's no place like home and it does say Alfred Baum, which is inaccurate, but I do love the front of it. It is stunning. So thank you again so much, Ryan, for those beautiful things. You are such a good and dear friend. I'm so grateful to have you in my life as well as all of my other Aussie friends. You guys are amazing. 
One of the other things I got from Christmas was actually from my dad. He was shopping at an antique store in upstate New York and found this Ken as the Scarecrow from the Hollywood Legends collection, which was the one released in 96. I do already have a couple of these, but it was so thoughtful of him to get it for me, so thanks, Dad. From my gorgeous daughter, keeping up the tradition of Oz jewelry for Christmas, she got me this fantastic Wizard of Oz charm bracelet. Thank you, my love. I adore it. I can't believe she just turned eight years old. My little lady. Thank you, Rosa. Collectors of vintage Oz merch will know that finding things from Tales of the Wizard of Oz is really rare and special, and I happened to find this on eBay for a super reasonable price, and I'd never seen it before. So I'm really excited to share this with you. I was able to find this Tales of the Wizard of Oz board game. You ask the question, he'll give the answer. The thrilling quiz game for all the family. There's nothing on the back of the box. It is complete. There's the logo on the side there. Let's open her up and see what's inside. So the game comes with this little figure of the wizard that's holding a rod or a stick of some kind. And what you do is you place him in the middle here of this thing. And then you turn him and you have to answer whatever question. And it comes with different categories of different questions that you can ask. So it's like a, a trivia game. Here's the questions, here's the answers. It's really, really exciting. And there's the cat. She's like, I want to play. <laughs> so it's a really cute game. I'd never seen it before, and it's complete, and it's really, really nice. And look, Lexi wants to play too. Ah, Lex, it's not for you. So what do you guys think? Have you seen this before? Comment below and let me know. I was also fortunate enough to snag one of these Mondo Records deluxe edition vinyls before they sold out. You can still find them on eBay. They are gorgeous. Take a look at this design here. What amazing uses of the Aussie color palette. They really took advantage of the beautiful colors ascribed to Oz and the beautiful patterns. As you can see, there's this artwork here that pops out and it's got layers going from Munchkin Land to the cornfield to the forest all the way through the witch's castle. I mean, just stunning. And it's a three album vinyl set. Look at that design there, which includes tons of cut tracks, extended cuts. Check out the amazing list here of songs going really from top to bottom, just the entire soundtrack. The only thing they don't include that the album released for Vinyl Day included was the alternate track of If I Only Had a Brain. I wish they had included that, but everything else is here. So again, if you missed this release, it is now sold out, but you can find them secondhand on eBay. You should definitely do your best to find one if you can. I think they printed 3,000 of these special edition vinyls, so they are gonna be really scarce in the future, so it might be worth the investment. The luxury fashion brand Irregular Choice dropped a gorgeous collection of shoes, purses, tights, lots of amazing things, and I treated myself to a piece for Christmas this year. I treated myself to the light up Irregular Choice Wizard of Oz purse. If you push the button here, you'll see the Emerald City glow for you. It's got the Fab Four on the front with the vintage 1939 logo. On the sides and on the top, as you can see, there's gold and red sequins here with the Wizard of Oz and the little Irregular Choice heart. On the back, you've got Dorothy in Munchkinland with Toto. It's a beautiful piece. It's actually a pretty large purse, and as you can see, it'll hold a lot of stuff. Now, the price points on these pieces are quite high, but the quality really speaks for itself. It's worth the amount of money if you'd like to spend it. That's gonna do it for us this evening. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the upward thumb if you like what you're seeing. Also, follow the links down below for all of my other social media. We are on TikTok, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, we're everywhere. And especially TikTok now, we're posting daily on TikTok. So if you're looking for daily Oz content, head over to my TikTok. Talk linked down below. Also, if you are not a member of the International Wizard of Oz Club, what are you waiting for? Head over to ozclub.org and sign up. It's inexpensive and it's a really great organization, so come and be a part of the magic. I'm appearing on This Podcast is Rigged this week, so please go and check out that episode when it drops. I hope that your 2022 is off 
off to an amazing start and that you guys are excited to dive headfirst into whatever adventures or misadventures come our way. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you guys soon. Good night!